week has not been a fun week. Do you know how many issue ones came out this week? Three. Technically four if you include a one shot and a volume two. So it's been stressful. I was worried that I wouldn't find previews. I was worried the shop wouldn't stock the comics. It's been not fun. Not fun at all. One of the good things though is that I managed to get three of them. I got a one shot and two issue ones. Or a prequel, but still an issue one. And the best thing is, I absolutely loved all three. Sometimes I can get like 10 comics that I don't really enjoy and I've got to read them all because I've got to pick the three best ones. But this week I was really lucky. So let's go review them. Shrinking Man by IDW. Richard Mathan's story about the exploration of a shrinking man is brought to life in this vivid comic book adaption. Scott Carey reduces in size by one seventh of an inch every single day. And at the moment he has nothing he can do to stop it. This comic book follows him as he shrinks and how he deals with everything around him, between his family and the impending dangers that are becoming more increasingly deadly to him. Pros! The concept is great. I mean, it's based off a book anyway, so I can't say it's original in that sense because the comic book is an adaption to the novel, but the concept as a whole is brilliant. Annoyingly, I've never actually read the book, so I can't tell you how accurate it is from the novel to the comic. But the comic book itself is written incredibly well. It constantly flits back and forth from present and past, from where he was full size to half shrink to shrunk. And it does it in such a way that you are never confused, it explains it brilliantly, and by the end of the comic, they've done it in such a way that you are more invested in this character than you ever would be if it was just a straight timeline. It's genius. It really could be a movie. It could be a much darker version of Honey, I Shrunk Ourselves. It's brilliant, it's really good. The art is simply stunning. And I'm quite ashamed to admit that I didn't realize that this was a story before the comic book. So when I first saw or researched that this comic was coming out, I thought it was going to be very superhero-esque, you know, Shrinking Man and all that jazz and I was excited for that. But I was much more excited when I started reading it and realised it's a much grittier, darker tale about how this man and his very human family have to deal with very abnormal problems such as him shrinking one seventh of an inch every day. It's not an easy journey for him and it, it wouldn't be for anyone. And I really like how they haven't shied away from that. It's not a hard read, but you can tell it's such a hard problem for them. It's, it's, it's done really well. I really enjoyed it. Cons. The only problem I had with this comic is sometimes the perception is a little bit off in some panels. In the same scene, that's meant to be in the same timeline, he can be one minute just slightly shorter than a full grown adult to looking like a child in the next panel. That was my only problem and it's not a big problem. Overall this was a great read. I did actually call that this would be my pick of the week and it's not. So I think it's still a good thing that I knew I was going to enjoy it and to say that it's not my pick of the week just shows how good the other comics are as well. Lobster Johnson, A Chain Forged in Life. A one shot by Dark Horse Comics from the pages of Hellboy. Santa was taken hostage after witnessing a hostile robbery. Hidden away in the mountains, will the lobster be able to save him and get justice against the robbers? Pros! The description killed me. When I researched this comic, I couldn't wait to read this. I thought it was going to be amazing. Anything to do with Santa getting kidnapped is a-okay by me. In a story, not in real life, don't kidnap Santa. So basically, I was already hooked before I'd even opened the first page. However, I was completely wrong. It's not funny, it's not humorous or light-hearted. It's actually really dark, gritty and very deep. Equally brilliant, very different but equally brilliant and I loved every page of it. The art is gritty and dirty. It fits perfectly for a good old fashioned noir-esque kidnapping story. Not to mention the lobster is one of the most terrifying badass heroes I've ever seen and he never says a single word. That's quite a feat in itself. I've never actually read Hellboy as much as most of my friends hate me for and when I saw at the top it says from the pages of Hellboy even though it was a one shot I was a bit worried thinking I wouldn't be able to follow the story. You can, I promise you, you can. I've never read a single page from Hellboy except for one of the Frankenstein comics I reviewed. i um, never read it uh, but I can promise you you can pick up the comic read it and enjoy every page of it. And I think you'd find, like me, it was actually a pretty moving story towards the end. Cons, adverts, no, bad 
Dark Horse comics bad. I loved the flow of this story and once again the adverts disrupted it. No. Overall though, it's worth ignoring the adverts, picking up this comic and reading it. There's nothing much better than a Christmas story in July. Justice League Gods and Monsters Superman issue 1 by DC Comics. This issue is a prequel to the DC movie shockingly titled Justice League Gods and Monsters. Truth, justice and the American way has a very different meaning to a Superman who was raised by immigrant farmers. They have been impoverished their entire life and all he has ever witnessed is injustice and abuse and now he's ready to let the world know what happens when the Man of Steel gets angry. Pros! We all know who Superman is. Even people who've never even picked up a comic book know who Superman is. But I love a good twist story. Superman Red Son is one of my favourite Superman stories of all time and not even just in comic books, in anything, a twist on any old classic I love. And this story is so well written that it only takes a couple of pages for you to forget there ever was a Clark Kent. The pace is perfect. If you can take the comic as a prequel storyboard to how the film is going to be laid out, this is going to be a good film. Which I've actually just googled was released yesterday in America. But it's region free! So actually this film is out now. Oh, I want to watch it. £10 on Blu-ray. We're not reviewing films right now Lucy. Or shopping. So yes, this has got me excited for a film I've just discovered I can buy today when I'm trying to save money. The art is a dream. I love like animated style artwork. We all know this from every video that I rant on about, but it's like, a, it's like that, but with a bit of a darker, grittier take to it. it the colors are so rich. The characters are so expressive. It's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful comic to read and to look at. Cons. Unfortunately, as every other DC comic has, it has adverts and that is my biggest con. It's also been the biggest problem with all these three comics this week, which is a shame. And I also make a point to boycott any advertisement that is shown in the middle of a comic, beforehand and after is fine. I read every page, but if you advertise in the middle, I boycott it. So now I'm also adding to the list a particular bubblegum brand, which I'm not naming because I'm not giving them more advertising. But yes, specific bubblegum brand, you are on the list. So that was it for this week. Thank you so much for watching and watching the mid research and excitement in between to stop the filming. <laughs> But yeah, have you read any of these comics? Did you have any comics that you were able to pick up or not able to pick up this week? It was very quiet. Long months are not good for comics. Can't wait till next month. If you liked this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe and all that jazz. You're pretty bloody awesome and wonderful for doing that anyway, so thank you. I love reading every comment and I try and reply to every single one. Um, so thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.